You are now watching a clip from the Inspired by Show. You can watch the full episode on our YouTube channel or listen on iTunes, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts. So make sure to head over there, leave us a five star rating if you enjoyed it, and follow the show. Nah, I'm curious to know, Dale. You know, you've mentioned you've got some incredible friends and you've had some incredible mentors. Who would you say have you met that's been the most inspiring throughout all of your your journey so far? Different people inspire me for different reasons. And it's not always the... I mean, because, of course, I'm inspired by the likes of Brenda Bouchard and Tony Robbins and all of those incredible people because they're incredible people that do incredible work. But it's it's the people that have been going through absolute hell on earth but still manage to show up for their kids every single day and still are able to be that rock for them. That Their entire lives have fallen apart. Let me tell you another story. Now, this was inspiring. I think there's 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 a lot in Britain that's broken. There's a lot in this country that's that needs attention, shall we say. But when thing when it really matters, the people in this country are incredible. Do you remember the seven seven bombings in London? Mm-hmm. I was stood on the platform as it happened. You know the experience where you run to get the tube and the door's shut in your face and you well fuck it, you swear and as it pulls off. That's exactly what happened to me at King's Cross. And so I was involved in the evacuation. I mean, obviously, you know, even even the walking wounded weren't coming out. People were walking up the track and, you know, sort of involved in help, helping them up and stuff like that before we eventually all got shuttled out and the, the fire service were like, right, we're taking over and taking control. You lot, you need to get outside. Um, seeing how people really rallied together in those kind of situations. And the next couple of days in London, everything was so different. Because I live out I live out in Cambridgeshire, so I'd always sort of commute back and forth. And this was the final, right at the very end of my second degree. So I'd just been going, and I was stuck in London for a few days. The way in which people were showing up for each other, especially people that had been there in the moment, and reading all the stories afterwards about how people had, like, regardless of how terrified they were, and let me tell you, that, that shit was intense. That was, I mean, PTSD kind of madness um and i didn't even see the really nasty stuff the thing for me is just just like 10 seconds you know it was a, it was a gwyneth paltrow sliding doors moment big time it's like a couple of seconds and you know i might not even be sat here and seeing how shook up some of these people were and like the you could see their life had just changed in a second in terms of like what they'd just experienced and what they'd seen on the train they've just got off of. Seeing how even in that situation they were still turning turning up and just helping, just any sense of self disappeared. Mm-hmm. And it was like how everyone was showing up for each other in that situation. That is inspiring. I could not agree more. Yeah. Now that is that that's the kind of stuff that re- really inspires me as well. Of course, I'm inspired by people that achieve incredible things in their careers, or you know, become you know who who make music that that becomes iconic or anything like that. It's it's impossible not to be inspired by that. But I think it's these really really incredible human stories mm. that are really quite mind blowing. Because, you know, you put yourself, sometimes you put yourself in that that situation, you kind of think, I couldn't imagine what they would have been feeling and how they would stay able to transcend that and still show up at that human level. Wow. It's more like they they put their own needs to one side. And like you say, the ego vanishes. Yeah. And it's just, we are all humans and we're here together and we're going to just support each other. And that's where that collective, fantastic energy is created from my experience when I've seen it happen before. Yeah. The only equivalent to that, which is such a smaller piece of it, was when we were during COVID and people started clapping for the NHS. Mm. And I remember the first time I did that, I just moved to London. And I was on this roof of our apartment and you could just see the whole of London. Every, every, not Obviously the whole of London, a huge amount of London I could see in North London. Everyone out of their windows just clapping. And it was just this surreal feeling of like, we're all together. And yeah. don't get me wrong, it was a very weird thing because I was a bit like, I've never done this before. I don't know yeah. anyone here. But it had this weird energy to everybody doing something at the exact same time to create this collective vibe. Yeah, I had weird feelings about that. Really? Yeah, I I, I, I saw very quickly that it didn't take long for people to weaponize virtue. Really? Yeah. 